So in this video, we are learning how to filter sweep and automate EQ for different applications. The first thing we're going to look at is using cutoff sweeps creatively. In most cases, I use these for introductions to my instrumentals. For example, I will be automating a low pass cutoff to restrict the frequency range until the drop section of the instrumental. You can use a high pass instead to restrict the lower frequencies, however I don't use this as my introductions don't often contain many lower frequencies. This technique can be used widely across many genres. So I will be using the master track to place my EQ filter sweep on, so that it affects all of the instruments together. To begin, it's handy to audition your filter sweep before you apply your automation. Doing this means that you can decide the parameters of your sweep before it is set. So, let's practice it by moving our sweep manually, and then we will automate it. Awesome, so now we know how we want our sweep to behave, there are two ways we can automate it. We can record automation or draw it in using an automation clip. Although they ultimately have the same effect, there is a big difference between the two. Recording automation for pattern or MIDI clips will infuse the automation with the pattern within the same clip. To view the automation after you've recorded it, open your MIDI editor by double clicking on the pattern in your playlist, then go down to where your velocity section is. Right click on the grey bar on the left and choose Parametric EQ 2 Band 7 Frequency. It will now display the automation curve you have created. You can edit this, but be careful as the editing in this area is quite sensitive. Now I don't use this method to automate, I prefer to use the automation clips instead, because they're much easier to edit, so I'll show you how to do that now. So before we automate, we must set the frequency of our band to its starting point. That is, where we want the sweep to start. Remember this is only a relative starting position, as we can fine tune it later on if we're not happy with it. OK. So the way I usually do introduction filter sweeps is to bring the band frequency up to a certain point in the mid-high section, then back down, then all the way back up to reveal the whole frequency spectrum. As you will hear, sweeping in this manner teases the listener before the full frequency spectrum is revealed. What we need to do now that we have set a starting point is create the automation clip. To do this, first select the part of your song you want to apply it to in the playlist. In this case, it's the first 8 bars. Then go back to your EQ and right click on the frequency for your band, which can be found right here. When the menu comes up, click on Create Automation Clip. Now an automation clip will appear in the area you have selected in your playlist. To edit the clip, you must add points, and you can do so by right clicking in the automation line within the clip. The automation is simple. When you move your point up, it moves the frequency up, and vice versa. So watch as I draw the automation in that I practiced before. The reason I use automation clips for this is because it's much easier to edit on the fly, as you can see. Also, you can curve your automation lines by holding left click on the line and moving it up or down. This will change the speed at which your band will sweep. If you need more room to edit your automation, whilst on your playlist, hold Alt and scroll up to increase the vertical zoom. Then you can hold control and scroll up to increase the horizontal zoom. Now this next step is quite important. 
So even though we have pushed the frequency band all the way to the end of the spectrum before the drop, the cutoff is still active, which means that it will be cutting off some of the higher frequencies of your instrumental. To avoid this, we need to create another automation clip to turn off the EQ just before the drop. To do this, again, we must select the same section of our track in the playlist that we want the EQ to affect. Open your mixer with the track that the EQ is active on and turn the EQ off by left clicking on the green LED on the right side of the insert. You will notice it's turned off because the green light will disappear. Once it is turned off, right click on the turned off LED and click on create automation clip. Another automation clip will now appear in the playlist. Create two points in the automation clip by using the right click as we did before. Drag one of the points to the top left and one of the points to the top right. By doing this we are making it so that the EQ turns on only for the selected portion of the track and turns off as soon as the instrumental drops. Brilliant, so that's how you automate a filter sweep on your production. Now you can use the very same technique for doing things like spike sweeps for snare rolls, which I often do to emphasise the effect. Here is a quick example of that. We just create a spike using a peaking band and automate the frequency value exactly the same way we did with the cutoff. Just a note, if you intend on using this technique for this very specific purpose, it is important that you make the spike follow the frequency pattern of the notes. In this case the notes are moving down, so we mirror that with the sweep. Awesome. Now you know how to filter sweep using EQ on your tracks. <laughs>